the FV 4030 Challenger once served as the British Army's main battle tank from 1983 to 2001, eventually succeeded by the Challenger II. Notably, the Challenger I introduced the revolutionary Chobham armour, surpassing the standard rolled homogeneous armour in terms of protection. This advanced armour, later adopted by other tank designs like the American M1 Abrams, significantly enhanced the tank's defensive capabilities. Manufactured by the Royal Ordnance Factories, the Challenger I entered service in 1983 and was produced until 1990, with each unit costing approximately 2 million British pounds. Although retired, the Challenger I's impact on tank technology and its prominent role within the British Army's armoured forces during its operational years ensures it remains a beast of the past. The Challenger I main battle tank boasts a formidable presence with a mass of 62 tonnes, which can increase to 70 tonnes with additional armour modules, which can significantly increase side protection to ensure the tank is as well protected on the sides as it is from the front. Its length of approximately 11.5 metres, width of 3.51 metres, and height of 2.95 metres contribute to its commanding stature on the battlefield. Operated by a skilled crew of four, including the commander, gunner, loader, and driver, the tank's capabilities are maximised through their coordinated efforts. The crew's expertise allows for precise target acquisition, effective gunnery, and efficient manoeuvring in various terrains. With its robust physical specifications and proficient crew, the Challenger 1 stands as a powerful and resilient main battle tank capable of delivering superior combat performance. The Challenger 1 main battle tank is equipped with a reliable Perkins CV-12, 26-litre diesel engine, capable of delivering 1,200 horsepower which is equal to 895 kilowatts. With a power-to-weight ratio of 14.4 kilowatts per tonne, the tank possesses impressive mobility and acceleration. The power generated by the engine is transmitted through a David Brown TN37 transmission, providing four forward gears and three reverse gears. The tank's suspension system utilises hydropneumatic technology, specifically hydrogas, which enables effective shock absorption and improved stability over various terrains. In terms of operational range, the Challenger 1 can travel up to 280 miles, which is equal to 450 kilometres on roads. With a maximum speed of 35 miles per hour, which is equal to 56 kilometers per hour, the tank demonstrates commendable agility and maneuverability, allowing for swift movements on the battlefield. In the late 80s, the Chieftain main battle tank was considered outdated. Its main drawbacks were poor mobility and insufficient armor protection. At the time Soviets were introducing improved tank types at a rapid pace, an armour of Chieftain was vulnerable to modern Soviet anti-tank guns. Because of this, the Challenger 1 was introduced, being the best protected tank in the world at the time of its introduction. The Challenger 1 main battle tank introduced significant improvements in terms of protection compared to its predecessor, the Chieftain. Its hull features a welded construction and incorporates Chobham composite armour which is a combination of steel and ceramics. This advanced armour composition provides a considerably higher level of protection compared to traditional monolithic steel armour. The effectiveness of Chobham armour was demonstrated by its subsequent adoption by the American M1 Abrams tank. In addition to the base armour, the Challenger 1 can be equipped with add-on explosive reactive armour. These modular panels, attached to the exterior of the tank, further enhance its defensive capabilities by effectively neutralizing incoming projectiles through the detonation of the explosive reactive armor tiles. To enhance crew safety, the tank is equipped with automatic fire suppression systems, which can swiftly extinguish fires in the event of an internal explosion or ignition. Furthermore, the Challenger 1 is equipped with nuclear, biological, and chemical protection systems, safeguarding the crew against potential chemical, biological, or radiological threats. These defensive measures contribute to the tank's resilience and survivability, allowing it to withstand enemy threats and fulfill its role as a capable main battle tank. Five electrically operated smoke grenade dischargers are mounted on each side at the front of the turret. 
The turret is fully electrically operated with a traverse of 360 degrees, and the gun has an elevation from positive 20 degrees to minus 10 degrees. The Challenger 1 main battle tank is equipped with the formidable Royal Ordnance L11A5 120mm rifled gun as its main armament. The tank carries 64 rounds of ammunition for this powerful gun, providing it with substantial firepower on the battlefield. In terms of secondary armament, the Challenger 1 is outfitted with two 7.62mm machine guns, specifically the L8-2 and L37-2 variants, and is stocked with a total of 4,000 rounds for these secondary weapons. Notably, a 1986 British report highlighted that the Challenger 1's anti-tank rounds had a high likelihood of penetrating the armour of the Soviet T-64 tanks. Did you know the Challenger's gun achieved a remarkable feat during the Gulf War? where it recorded the longest distance tank kill in history. During Operation Desert Storm, the Challenger 1 solidified its place in history by achieving a remarkable tank-to-tank -tank kill at an astonishing range of 5,100 metres, which is equal to 5.1. This exceptional feat set a world record for the longest range tank kill, a record that remains unbroken even after 35 years. The combination of the Challenger 1's powerful main gun its extensive ammunition capacity and its remarkable long-range accuracy demonstrates the tank's effectiveness in engaging and destroying enemy targets. These achievements underscore the tank's significant contribution to armoured warfare and its enduring legacy as a formidable force on the battlefield. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more content.